I'm Cadbury, welcome to my kitchen. Today we'll be making a delicious red wine marinated tofu. Now, sometimes when people think tofu, they get that look about them, that sort of like, mmm, tofu, mmm. Like it's something they wouldn't want to get close to with a 10 foot pole. But this tofu, it is mind changing. It has a delicious red wine, savory, umami flavor that will win over even the most ardent of tofu haters. So you'll just need to gather a few ingredients and your pressed tofu. If you don't know how to press tofu, you should watch my other video on that. It's just down there, over there. I don't know where it is on your screen. But the point is, you should find it and then come back and make red wine marinated tofu with us. Welcome back. So now we'll make the marinade. First you'll need a half cup of dry red wine. I really like a Tempranillo or Chianti. And then a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. Two tablespoons of tamari. Two tablespoons of poison sauce. And now for the herbs. A heaping quarter teaspoon of thyme. A heaping quarter teaspoon of basil. A heaping quarter teaspoon of oregano. Woo, that's heaping. Don't worry, don't be precious about it. It's all good. And a heaping quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. If you'd rather do fresh garlic, that's good too. Finally, add the juice of half of the lemon. The marinade's all set, so just mix to combine. The tofu's been pressing for an hour, and now it's ready to go into the red wine marinade. I'll let it marinate in this red wine for about an hour, flipping once halfway through. The tofu is marinated for an hour, so now we'll move the slices onto a cookie sheet covered in parchment paper. The oven is set at 400 degrees. I'll put the tofu in for 20 minutes. While that's baking, we can start on the sauce. To make the sauce, simply put a tablespoon of flour into your marinade. I'm using whole wheat pastry flour, but chickpea flour also works if you're going gluten-free. Then thoroughly combine. Pour the marinade and flour mixture into a pan at a medium heat. Stir the sauce constantly until it takes on the texture of gravy. So the tofu has been in the oven for 20 minutes. The sauce has only been cooking for a few minutes, but it's ready. So now I can take the tofu out of the oven and ladle a bit of sauce onto each slice. I'll flip each slice of tofu first, and then I'll ladle sauce onto each slice. Now just put the tofu back in the oven and let it bake another 10 minutes. So the tofu is all ready. You can slip it onto the plates and eat.